It's everybody's favorite time of year again. Time to start preparing your taxes. If you're watching this video, you are considering filing your taxes yourself using an online e-file software such as the extremely popular platform Intuit TurboTax. This video is going to be an overview and tutorial of Intuit TurboTax. Now, TurboTax is an online tax preparation software used by more than 16 million people. The benefits of an e-file online tax software are cost effectiveness, convenience, tutorials and education, and speedy filing and refunds. This video will help you understand how TurboTax works and to see if it is right for you. TurboTax offers a variety of ways to get your taxes done, from simple returns to business owners and everything in between. In order to use TurboTax, you will have to register an account, which takes only a few minutes, you only pay when you officially file, so you can actually test out the software and play around with it to determine what the final cost will be and whether this software is right for you. TurboTax is internet-based and you can actually complete this process anywhere you have web access and or using the app. You can save and update your information and revisit it or add changes anytime before you file. TurboTax also offers professional tax full services or you can do your own taxes. So TurboTax service pricing is broken down into three options. Do your own pricing, assisted, and full service. Pricing changes with the more complex returns for each category. TurboTax does offer free filing for simple returns only. This means if you have a 1040 IRS form with a basic W-2 income, you could qualify as a simple return and actually file through TurboTax for completely free. As you plug in information and answer questions regarding for filing, TurboTax will guide you to a particular service. The services include Basic Level, Deluxe, Premier, and Home and Business. These are all the options for TurboTax. State filing is an additional cost, but generally the cost for doing your own taxes range from the mid-100s to $300 depending on the complexity. Now, of course, if you qualify for a simple return, that would be free. Once again, you can start filing for free and you only pay at the end. In addition, TurboTax has lots of different promotions, so check the website for different updates. After you create a TurboTax account and log in, TurboTax will ask you questions to guide you to the correct software option. Questions about jobs, dependents, home ownership, investments, etc. Then it will ask you about how you feel about the process of doing your own taxes. This is where it's going to offer you three options. File on your own, assisted tax option, which gives you a little bit of filing on your own and live expert help. And then the full service. Assisted costs more, but provides that expert approved guarantee, unlimited help from tax pros and an expert final review and some other features. Full service is essentially you providing all your information and data and an expert completes it for you. The tax home is the main menu. So once you get set up in filing your own taxes, the tax home is the main menu. These are the tabs here to the left and you're going to input all the information in each of these tabs. Now the progress will automatically save for each of the tabs. Now you could partially complete this information and then go back to it at a later date. In addition, you can access your account on all web-based platforms. So that means you can start filing on a desktop and actually finish it using an app or vice versa. The tax home is where you're going to start submitting your documents. You're going to find your account information. You're going to have federal tax return questions as well as state tax return information. In addition, there is a help center. a print center, and the option to clear and start over. You have a top bar here, which will show your progress and your federal refund and or state refund if applicable. The first thing you're gonna start completing is the My Info tab. This is your basic account information, such as name, address, social security, military information, marital status, etc.
This is also where you're going to add your children and or dependents, which is going to be a 2000 per dependent deduction. As you complete sections, the system's going to guide you to the next area. It is absolutely okay to skip questions or to keep information blank and go back to it. TurboTax is going to remind you to go back and complete the missing information before the final review. Now, there are also frequently asked questions in each of the sections. In addition, you have the Help Center and you can do some search for particular aspects in the top right. After you plug in your information, the very next thing you're going to do is add your income and or W-2 information. So this section allows you to add W-2 information, self-employment 1099 forms, or any investment income you might have had. Now you're going to be able to enter documents by uploading them or manually entering information. As you enter specific information, TurboTax will adjust the questions to cater to that particular tax situation. You will need your official tax documents, aka your W-2 or 1099 or 1040 forms, etc., to complete this section. After you add income, there will be a running tally of what your refund will be or what you will owe the federal or state governments. As you add information, this will change and reflect the data. So once you start putting in your income information, it's also going to ask you about expenses to particular jobs. There's going to be tutorials and videos as well, but you can skip these if you need to. So after you input your income and your expenses, next is the deductions section. Now standard deduction is going to be $29,200 for married couples filing jointly, $14,600 for simple taxpayer or married filing separately, and $21,900 for the head of households. The standard deductions mean you can apply these amounts to your income to lower what is your taxable income. However, if you can claim more than that in deductions, you will want to focus on this particular section in TurboTax and fill out all the pertinent information. Some of the deductions include education, tuition, mortgage interest, student loan interest, medical expenses, property tax, and charitable donations, etc. TurboTax will determine based off of your information in this section if the standard deduction is right for you or you want to put in your personal deductions. After deductions, you have the other tax situations, which are uncommon situations, such as you have a live-in nanny, identity protection pins, you donated to the presidential campaign funds, etc. After you plug in your information, the review will make sure everything is good or it will flag any unfinished portions. In addition to federal, TurboTax offers the state filing as well for an additional cost. If you choose to file your state taxes, it's going to upload the information you already put in for your federal return and ask you some additional questions that relate to the particular state that you're filing in. So overall, you're going to complete each of the menu tabs to the left. TurboTax is generally going to guide you and provide the price level of your package as well as your tax refunds or what you owe. Again, you are not committed to file with TurboTax. It's completely free to sign up and start playing around with the software. You can always use the top right options or level up to assisted tax services or the full services if you feel uncomfortable doing your own taxes. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and TurboTax tutorial. I also have a TurboTax app tutorial as well, and I will put that in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.